Shoulder, that's for sure. Because when you look at these backup quarterbacks, they're a pretty wide gap between the junior and, and what Dewan Mathis is doing right now. And, and Stetson Bennett got off to a pretty nice start as well. But we're seeing Dewan Mathis now for the first time. Freshman from Michigan. Very raw, but a lot of ability. Strong arm. Pretty accurate and can move around when necessary. So he's a guy with a really high ceiling. He's having a little bit of a tough time learning and understanding the metrics of what is a pro-style offense, and that'll take some time for any freshman. It's a bit of a quarterback carousel before signing day between Georgia and Ohio State. Matthews, but each one of these two backup quarterback potential candidates trying to put their best foot forward here to end the spring. Number two offense, number two defense right now, and another completion. Trey Blunt with the catch. Guys, they're all five-star recruits. You've got Jamari Salyer, Cade Mays, who played a lot last year. They're all fighting for time there at that right. At some point in the fall, he'll be on the field. Mathis lets it go deep into coverage and off the hands of Matt Landers. That guy that they're just waiting. They're waiting for him to put it all together. I mean, you can see the length. He's six foot five. He should have made that play for him. And he's got when that ball is contested. Ball got loose. Mathis recovers and they'll whistle him down. It was say 15 years ago. But understanding the terminology and what every single you got a chance to spend some time with Todd Blackledge. That makes me think that one he's accurate. He's a game manager. I mean that in a good way. Enters at Kirby Smart's teams, and I just think that they're they're well coached. They have a challenging schedule every year, and I hated Georgia as a player. Touch double reverse pass here, throwback, Dusty. Going to me. Good call. That Landers lets it go. Yeah. Wide open, Dewan Mathis in a touchdown. Molly McGrath all over. I told the coaches each team gets, you know, one trick play. I didn't realize that we didn't really have time after practice to organize the trick play. So supposedly they drew it up in the locker room. Before the uh, before the plays, and both teams ran one. Obviously, they had a little more success with theirs. Dewan's a really good athlete, the 10, 700 meter guy can run. So, good job. what exactly you saw on it? Okay, I didn't hear that. What? We're rocking through the trick play again. We're gonna oh. run a replay. Okay, so just walk me through what you saw when it was developing. Go ahead. Trick play? Yep. Well, I actually didn't know it was called. I didn't have the call, <laughs> so I saw Matt coming around. I thought it was gonna be a reverse. Uh -huh. And then when he, I knew Matt was a good thrower. First of all, I was gonna say, did you know that Matt could do that? No, I had no idea Matt could do that, but I knew Dwan could. Dwan can run. He's always bragging about his Tyson. Get out there, knucklehead. Um, but Matt can. I mean, Dwan can run. He made a heck of a play right. Here. Got free release right here. Quick game. Quarterback looking for the first open target. Good job. Dwan's got a nice release. Kid throws the ball well. Can you tell me a little something about Mathis right now, since we're seeing him? Dwan is a talented kid. We picked up late. He's really done a good job. Um, Picking up the offense. I think Coach Coley's done a tremendous job with him. He brings another element because he's got really good legs, really good feet. You saw the reverse pass, obviously, for a touchdown. So seeing him catch that tells us he can run a little bit. They get a lot of reps in practice, but this game they don't get as many. Uh oh, we just blitzed him. We just blitzed him. They didn't blow it up. He's fast. You better watch out. There we go. He is fast. There we go. I don't know. That might have been a sack, Maria. Yeah, free release. Here we go. Get the ball to Cook. Oh, good to step my quarterback there. Through what you meant by that. Well, let's see what he does here. He's got a chop route, one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Ooh, he got a chance. Good route. Look at Marie. Marie picked it up. Oh, good. Great. So, what was back again with it? Hard run. Gum. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Good job there. Out of the side. Perimeter block. He's not real good there. Right about. Free release. Quick game. Mathis. Oh, got to go. No, we'll do that. I'm not interested in that. <laughs> he's starting to flip it. Big got a big down, third down big here. Third, down. third long, too. Got to get rid of it. Good step up. Good throw. Black. Please don't throw it. Please. Don't. Oh, he did. Juan Mathis should have tell, uh, pardon me, quarterback for the black team. And Mathis stops and lets it go. Concerned because these guys four months from now will have such more chemistry as a result of the reps they're about to get over the course of the summer. Great job these last couple of years. So these receivers will be ready to go, no doubt, come fall camp. Mathis, the Detroit product, gets flushed by Malik Herring, who came in from the edge. This is starting to feel easy. Yeah. It's coming a lot quicker. It's a lot easier. The game has slowed down. 
Now the question will be, as we've been hammering, if he could do that better on the downfield balls. That was really the only area that he mentioned when we pressed him on. Auburn yeah. you can't have those games where you don't have your best stuff because that's how games like the LSU game happen. So Jake Fromm, I think, will definitely. Is he just kind of a box score bully where he just gangs up on uh, overmatched opponents? Did Clearly he's got a skill for bully. <laughs> Georgia fans wondering what the box score looked like. By game, two by weeks. And you kind of are able to take what is a difficult schedule and you get to kind of bring teams that never played since Texas A&M's been in the league. Isn't that amazing? It's you amazing. think about it since joining in 12. And boy, Mathis just unleashed a beautiful pass to Landers, but it was blown dead. Really transforming Felipe Franks before our very eyes. Played well down the stretch. And if he continues to Georgia plays poorly, they beat him. Uh, you know, I don't see a team in the East right now that if Georgia plays well is good enough to beat them straight up. And how many point out that was the freshman Jake Podlesny who made the field goal. Like it. Well done. <laughs> uh, you know, I think Greg did, did a pretty good post mortem there on the entire uh, roster in the, the national championship Alabama and Clemson uh, they're probably always going to start the conversation with those two teams and rightfully so given how they've been the last few years but I tell you what that they're due uh, <laughs> but when you look at Georgia I think you're right Georgia was a year early less from sideline to sideline do they have a DeAndre Baker on the roster probably not and at the same time they could still be better as a unit this and slept Matt Landers number five to the top of the formation Duan Mathis swings it out and they're able to stop the clock with KJ McCorder on Monday as opposed to the Beanie Weenies that <laughs> might be on their plate as of right now. Into the running back KJ. <laughs> Willie Erdman with the grab and out of bounds. Five seconds. Landers. Yep. Hail Mary to the right. You got two big, tall targets on the right side. Throw it up, see if they can make a play for you. If Dwan Mathis has time, he'll buy some with his scramble. Game will end on this play. Into the end zone. It is knocked down. Batted away by DJ Daniel.